Thousands of Hmong and Laotian people served alongside U.S. troops in Vietnam. However, right now they're not recognized as veterans by our government and are not eligible for veteran benefits. And News 8's Jordan Fremstead introduces us to a bill proposed by State Senator Jennifer Schilling that would change that. In 1975, 150,000 Laotian Hmong entered the United States as refugees. Now, many of those people were service members. Now, this new bill would give those service members veteran status and open up a whole new door of support they earned more than 40 years ago. Now, Tu Lo still remembers his days in uniform during the Vietnam War. When he came to this country, you know, um, he was very happy that many, many Hmong Lao veterans made it to this country. But, you know, he was sad that many, many died, you know, that didn't get a chance to come over here. More than 40 years later, he and his fellow soldiers are still not recognized as veterans in the eyes of the U.S. government. And he was a little bit disappointed, you know, with the United States government that, you know, all Hmong Lao veterans uh, were not recognized. And, you know, that's a disappointing part. These fighters have not been eligible for any sort of veteran benefits. State Senator Jennifer Schilling is co-authoring a bill that would expand veteran status to Hmong Laotian veterans in the state of Wisconsin. They were heroes. They were fighting alongside uh, with, um, the U.S. Uh, troops that were there in the Vietnam War. And so it, it is time and I think it's appropriate that we extend uh, those veteran benefits if it's education, if it's housing, if it's uh, employment, tax status. Even with U.S. veterans, there's different degrees of eligibility for benefits and services uh, in Wisconsin and the federal government. So this is a Wisconsin-focused legislation for Hmong and Lao in Wisconsin. Wisconsin stands next to California and Minnesota for one of the largest Hmong populations in the country. Now Tulo says the recognition was long overdue, but he says it's never too late, and he hopes the bill is signed soon. By the governor. He was proud to serve alongside the United States and uh, he, he's just so happy that the United States it's, it's going to finally recognize uh, those who die and those that are, that are still alive today. Now if the bill is signed into law these veterans would be eligible for a wide range of grants and different assistance programs. Those include things like housing and health care aid. All right, thanks so much, Jordan. And Schilling says she does hope to bring this bill before the state legislature before they adjourn in early 2020.